Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and for today's video I'm just going to be doing a co-feeding with my male veal chameleon So, here we go As you can see, he's very hungry As I haven't fed him since around two days ago or a day ago and the calcium that I'm using for my feeding today is calcium with D3. Calcium with D3 is really important because it also helps for your gecko or your reptiles get calcium into its bones. And if you never give your reptiles feedings with calcium D3, this can lead to metabolic bone disease, which is a really serious disease that you shouldn't mess with with reptiles because this can actually lead to death most of the time and your gecko or your reptile's limbs can start to like bend and they'll be very really weak so overall just make sure you guys feed your reptiles once in a while maybe twice or three times a week with calcium with the tree Also, a cool trick you guys can do with your chameleon would be hand feeding, as I just showed you there. Hand feeding is also a cool and common thing you guys can do to also get your chameleon used to you. And hand feeding is also pretty cool because all you have to do is put the food on your hand, and your chameleon will come over and eat it right out of your hand. So it's pretty cool and simple. Guys, also another thing to keep in mind when you guys are feeding your chameleons. Make sure to give your chameleon a staple diet, which consists of crickets and roaches. And you guys can also feed your chameleon like mealworms, waxworms, superworms, mario worms, and calci worms, and hornworms. But these kind of insects would be mainly as treats, so maybe every two weeks you can feed your chameleon two to three mealworms or waxworms, whatever treats you have and Ralph seems to enjoy them a lot. Here I'm feeding him mealworms, which are these little things. And also a cool trick with chameleons is that their tongues are the same length as their body, which is a cool fact. And chameleons also have the best accuracy as they use your tongue to take down their prey and catch it from if you're feeding your reptile with tongues or if you guys are doing hand feeding they get really accurate aiming so they never miss so guys listen to this this is also a really important fact I need you guys to know is that you guys can be poisoning your chameleon that's right you guys can really be poisoning your chameleon. So I'm also pretty sure you guys might be wondering why. And this is because if you guys are feeding your chameleon all the time and you guys are using the same calcium every single time when you're feeding your reptile, this is not a good idea because your calcium you keep feeding your chameleon every time can actually lead to poison your chameleon. So Try to switch it up each time because I use calcium D3 with multivitamin calcium and also with plain calcium. So guys, this is the calcium I use for feeding my chameleon, which is plain calcium, essential calcium that has a lot of benefits like strong bones, strong muscles, optimum nutritional health and fight metabolic bone disease then here is calcium with D3 and here is multivitamin calcium which has all the essential calciums and vitamins your chameleon needs so I guess I'm going to feed my chameleon a few more crickets as he does seem pretty hungry and one thing to keep in mind is chameleons eat a lot so make sure you guys have enough food for your chameleon 
Of course I have other reptiles, but most of the time my chameleon eats the most for my reptiles. And also guys, another thing to do is never overfeed your chameleon. And you guys might be wondering what this is, but overfeeding can also just mean that you're feeding your chameleon way too much food and this can cause your chameleon to be obese. So you guys might think it's funny, but it's pretty serious. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's feeding of my cool, awesome Maleville chameleon. His name's Ralph and he appreciates you guys watching. I also love to share content with you guys and so guys, I'll see you in the next video.